Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is NJ and today we have a very special guest with us. This is Nena of Nenny's platform. Hi guys. <laughs> so yeah, we've had Nena on our channel a couple of times and we actually filmed a video, like a full video together mm -hmm. a while back. Yes. Okay, Nena she said us like told us about her struggles you know trying to conceive for over five years before she finally conceived <laughs> right yeah yeah and it was it, it was a really nice video and um, today again we have her back and i couldn't be more excited so, yeah you guys this is a collaboration okay we also have a video on nena's channel so please please when you're done from when you're done with watching this video please head over to nena's channel the link to her video is going to be in my description box below and while you're there please subscribe to her channel she's still you know trying to reach the 1000 subscriber <laughs> milestone so please subscribe to her channel as well yeah. Yeah, so we put out um i put out a post on um youtube asking you guys to just ask her questions you know on ttc and everything you know fertility and whatever and some of you sent in your questions so i want to say a big thank you to you guys you know to all those that sent in their questions and hopefully the rest of you will send them questions next time okay so yeah we're going to be nana is going to be answering these questions for us and we're just not like having... i'm a professional <laughs> yeah like based <laughs> up on your own um experience, experience. yeah exactly. so she's going to be answering these questions for mm. us you guys so just sit back relax and i hope you learn just as much as i know i'm going to learn from this video Okay, so first question, yeah. um, what health conditions contribute to trying to conceive and can a simple hormonal imbalance cause one not to conceive for years? Of course, of course, a simple hormonal imbalance can cause you not to conceive for years and it's not even a joke. So I would say that, yes, there are so many health issues that will cause you not to conceive, which okay. hormonal imbalance is one of them, PCOS, fibroids, okay. and the list goes on and on. But yeah you need to hormonal imbalance is something that most i've noticed that most young women yeah. from a young age in fact when you start menstruating you need to start tracking your hormonal balance okay. make sure that your hormones are balanced in, in this side of the world in africa here we don't do that it's suddenly when you get married you now stay one year two years that's when you start saying oh, something could be wrong but that very first time you missed your period that very first time your, your period skipped that's the time to go check what is going on before you get married. Okay, yeah, that's great advice. Okay, so in your case, were you unable to conceive because of any medical issues or were you and hubby deemed okay by your doctor? Yes, we were okay, but we were, I was unable to conceive because of a long list of medical issues that the doctors had given. Okay. You know, yes, so that was basically why. PCOS, fibroids, just a long list and oh. you know they would come up with different things every day telling you why you can't conceive okay. so yeah so yeah was your husband supportive um during these five years and did you at any time feel bad for not having you know given him a child so yes of course nj i felt bad you know those years i wasn't able to give my husband a child yeah. Of course, any woman will feel that way. So I yeah. felt bad. I kept praying. I kept asking God, you know, that I wanted my husband yeah. to be a father. So yes. What was the second question? <laughs> Pregnancy brain. And okay, the second question: Was your husband supportive? Yes, he was. My husband was very supportive. My husband was very for every medical appointment, everywhere we had to go to. My husband was very supportive. Yeah. He would go with me, follow me. When they say do the tests, guys, look, the gist for the tests <laughs> is another ball game yeah. altogether. But when we had to do those tests, he would oblige, he would go for the tests, he would do all the tests. So yes, he was very, very okay. supportive. Next. Did you try IVF? And if you did not, was IVF ever an option? Of course, um, IVF was going to be an option, you know, at the end of the day, because I would never say don't do IVF. God made IVF, he gave that special exactly. wisdom for doctors, you know, to doctors to help women go through this yeah. whole pandemonium. I so I totally support IVF. I'm not against it. So mm -hmm. yes, we were thinking of that option and we were already in that yeah. thought. It was just that work was in the way and so many things. So the pressure at the time, I needed to just take off some time and then because it's a mental journey. Yeah, true. So I needed to take off some time and then decide to go in and go in head on because the consultant had told us all the steps of the okay. IVF so yeah you need to be off work you need to be off stress no pressure and just a lot of things okay. so that was what we were waiting for before the miracle happened amazing yes. okay um next question 
what treatments would you recommend um, for someone who is trying to conceive? Like, what treatments do you think they should try out? Okay, in terms of treatment, it depends on what you know the issue is for yeah. you. For every couple, of course, you go for diagnosis first. You do all the analysis you need to do for the woman. There's a long list of things to do, hormonal analysis yeah. and so many other tests to do. Okay, so they'll check your ovarian tubes, your fallopian tubes, they'll check your ovaries, yeah. and then they'll, of course, go, that way you do the HSG, okay. it's painful, but... Ooh, yeah, I think your, I heard that from Alma's video, one of her videos. Is. You have, it's part of it. And then also, um, the husband will go to test to get his semen checked, analyzed, and all that. So, when you've gone through the round of tests, okay. then your consultant or the doctor you're seeing is going to advise you on the next thing okay. to do because okay. it's from the test you know whether whatever it says, if it is the polycystic ovarian syndrome, okay. it's fibroids, whatever the issue is, then okay. they can advise you further on other things okay. to do. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. How were you able to cope with going back to the village? All your husband's relatives looking at you with expectant eyes and probably making snide comments behind your back. Well, <laughs> Going back to the village, well, we didn't go to the village, and luckily enough for us, uh, my husband's people stay in Lagos and all that, so we didn't really go to the village to okay. have that village experience. Okay, so you didn't have all that, you know, nah. village aunties and no, uncles, no, 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 you know? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, next question. What advice would you give to someone who is trying to conceive, and what are the best ways to actually tackle, you know, not being able to conceive? Well, it's still the same thing, you know, it's a two-way thing. I'm not just going to say, oh, pray to God, pray to God, don't do anything. My sister, my brother, because it's for the man and for the woman, mm -hmm. you have to start doing physical things, go see your doctor, go start tests, and the earlier you start, the better. Okay. Don't say we're believing God for children, okay. 10 years, and you've not done anything. Yeah. Start the journey, start yeah. know where you are, at least if you meet somebody, you're able to tell the person, this is what we've done, this yeah. is what we've done. Yeah. So start the journey, mm -hmm. and then... Yeah. Thank you for yeah, that. Great advice. Yeah. Um, okay. Was there any time you stopped all treatments and just believed in God for a miracle? And would you advise other women going through this to stop their treatments and just trust in God? Wow, that's that's a very. Let me tell you, that question is very personal, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of. I don't want to say faith, so that I'm yeah. not sounding too religious, but mm -hmm. it takes personal conviction to say, okay, let me step aside. For me personally, yes, I did. I stepped aside all everything we were going through and yes god did it for me but for you you might want to just go through it so it depends on where you are in your journey to True. conception True. my my journey cannot be the same with yours yeah. so please don't don't do what i have done yeah but as you go along keep believing keep a, a very optimistic spirit i know that you're going to conceive so whether you go on with your medications and everything or you decide to hold on a bit whichever way you're going to conceive amen amen yes. <laughs> Okay, this says, how long does a woman have to have tried conceiving without any results before she can use the term TTC? Okay, well, according to the doctors, what they said to me personally was two years. Okay. You know, that when you tried one to two years and nothing has happened, by the third year, yeah. that's when you start really getting worried and, okay. you know, you start you know, trying to find out what is wrong. So, for one to two years, after that period, the third year, then you know that, okay, you're now trying to conceive. Yes. Okay, this next question says, what tests do women who are trying to conceive have to undergo to ascertain what is wrong? It's a long list, guys. It's a long list of tests. You know, so I can't just sit here and tell you, go do this one or go do that one. You have to go to the hospital and they would give you, that's usually what they give, you know. Um, of course, when you go to see the doctor who specializes in conception mm -hmm. or a gynecologist or wherever mm -hmm. that is, they'll give you a long list of things of tests you're going to see for yourself and for your husband so it's not it's nothing i would say here in this video yeah. you have to go to the hospital yeah. and get that okay. yes list of for the test okay let's just take one more question okay, this is okay i think this is a funny question <laughs> but this person wants to know can a man be the reason for a woman trying to conceive of course of course of course of course <laughs> as funny as it sounds but yeah. yes of course a man can be the reason a woman is trying to conceive okay yeah yeah <laughs> oh gosh thank you so much oh. we've run out of questions now oh. uh, thank you so much for just coming here and you know opening up yourself and sharing this um, information with us and mm. congratulations <laughs> on your second bottle of joy thank you, we're also happy for you i know you. my subscribers they're all happy for you like 
everyone is just so happy thank you so much thank, thank you thank you so yeah you guys don't forget we also have a video on nena's channel so please head over to her channel yeah. um her comment is going to be the pinned comment on this video oh. and also the link to our video on her channel will be in the description box below so yes please go ahead watch and support our girl yes <laughs> get us to 1000 subscribers yeah 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 please guys. subscribe to her channel you guys please 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 let's get her to she has like a less than four, 400 subscribers yes. you know to reach the 1000 milestone uh -huh. Thank you once again. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> yeah, so guys, much. thank you so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy watching, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course, please subscribe to our channels. Yes, please subscribe <laughs> to both our channels. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.